Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with quick hits. We're going to get into uh, the Golden Boy card. Two nights in a row, prospect loaded, midweek card, what, what, nothing better than this. And then Friday, we got the fight night, uh, the, 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 trilla, the, the fight app um, on Triller. Uh, so it's going to be three nights in a row. Uh, but a Wednesday card, a Thursday card, what's better than this? This is as good as it gets, isn't it? Um before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all of our social media. Quick hits come at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news um, and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other channel, the Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, so um, let's get into today's sh- show. First, um, you know, it, 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 it was a fine card. Ramirez, Scrappy Ramirez, um, really coming into his own. Um, he got the one quit a hitter uh, in, in his last fight. I mean, he's taking steps up, but he, he he's ready for a massive step up at this point. Um, he, he's looking sharp. Um, he's, he's thrown... Interesting combinations. He's sharp with the uppercut from the backhand. Um, he's sharp with the right hand. He, um, he, he's just, he, he's quick. He's making you miss. Now, L- Lewis Padilla, probably not the best fighter in the world. He's probably ready for, for something bigger than, than Lewis Padilla, uh, much bigger. Uh, and But we learned that today. You know, he got the one-hitter quit in his last fight. Um, and, and before that, he was fighting, you know, lower-level fighters. Um, but the step up that we saw today, let's be honest, he, he's ready. Like he, he's ready for, for bigger things. He's ready for much bigger things. And, and Golden Boy, you know, ha- has, um, has some things on the horizon. Floyd Schofield, Scrappy Ramirez, you know, Scrappy's just a 115 pounder. So I, I don't know how much money they can make off him, but they can get him into the equation, you know, he's almost ready to get beat up by Josh Franco. Um, Scrappy is really improving. Yeah, he's really making strides. He throws in good volume. Um, he, you know, he's got good pop, as we've seen. He's obviously got good athleticism. He, he throws these interesting combinations. Like, he'll throw a, a, an uppercut hook, up, like, really interesting combinations. And, and, and he's landing with accuracy, which is, you know, the most important thing. Um, he's making his opponents miss. He's he's really good in the mid range, um, and he he dominated the whole fight. You know, Padilla was just one of those guys you weren't going to get out. He did everything but get him out. He poured it on in the last round too. He just didn't get the stoppage. He took you know scorecards 190 and then 99, 91 on, on the other two scorecards. Not sure what round they gave to Padilla, but it was that kind of shutout. So a really big stride from Scott Ramirez, showing off a lot of athleticism and skill. Um, in the co-main event, not so much. Um, I, I don't know. We're gonna uh, let's let's get into to, to, to little cousin first. Um, Grant Flores shined uh, first round knockout. One of the early bouts. Grant Flores. Uh, he may be someone to keep an eye on. Um, local fighter from Coachella. Uh, scored a first round. Two minutes thirty one seconds into the first round. Uh, he had. Joel Diaz in his corner, um, dropped him with a right hand. It was a left hook and then an uppercut, right? That that dropped him, got him up, put him down with a right hand again, then finished him with a series of right hands. So uh, Grant Flores, really good. Manny Flores, not so much. Southpaw likes to be on the outside jab move. Really, I, I didn't score it. I thought Franklin Gonzalez, you know, it's – Opponent with a good record, who we didn't know anything about. Um, 
He got dropped in the fifth, I believe it was. That seemed to be the difference in the fight. He came on stronger. I, I thought he won seven and eight. Really close fight. Manny Flores got it done courtesy of the knockdown. But there's really not much to love about Manny Flores. Like, he's, he, he's a basic southpaw. He jams. He comes forward. But he doesn't really have much pop. He's trained. He's a local guy. He's trained by Joel Diaz. That, that seems to be what they like about him. But you know, outside of that, like I didn't see anything. He's not an A-level prospect. He was at a speed disadvantage. Um, if Golden Boy, like it was a speed disadvantage. He didn't have much pop. He's not real sharp. Um, if Golden Boy wanted to see what he was all about and, and matched him decently tough, I, I think they got their answer. Uh, I'm sure we'll see him again. You know, I, I thought Gonzalez dominated the last two rounds. You know, lead, lead hooks and, and lead right hands. He was scoring at will late in the fight. Uh, Flores wasn't in survival mode. I wouldn't say that, but he he, he was losing the rounds. And and it, it's like, okay, if, there was, if this was a 10-rounder, Gonzalez was going to win. So, you know, they kind of split there. Grant Flores, you know, pro debut, looked really good. Welterweight, 6-1, rangy. On the undercard, Manny Flores, nah, not so much. And then Scrappy Ramirez looked good in the co-main event. So I, I guess all's well that ends well, right? Scott Ramirez is who they wanted to show off, and, and Scott Ramirez looked good. Uh, but I, I wanted to compare and contrast this, right? Because Golden Boy, the zone, big money. You know, they, they get a lot of money to put these shows on. They get, should have a lot of talent. Objectively. Yesterday's pro box card, way better. Way better. Najee Lopez, better prospect than, than, than anyone on this undercard. Main event, better fight. It, it's just objectively better. Pro box. Pro box is on to something. It was a good performance. You, you got the Van Sicklin and Gallegos fight in the main event. Really great fight. Better than the main event in this fight, right? And, and, and Scrap, he's a good prospect, right? But, it, you know, he still has a way to go. Van Sicklin's a good prospect, right? Um, the, the, Vel Sant was a good prospect on, on the undercard. It, it was – the Pro Box card was objectively better, and, and there's no money behind that, or not money compared to what Golden Boy and the Zone have. So, you know, take notice of what Pro Box is doing. Again – Boxing fans should be happy. We got two midweek cards in a row, back-to-back days, with good prospects. Scott Ramirez is a good prospect. Manny Flores, not so much. Grant Flores, pro debut, long way to go, million miles to go. He looked like he might be something. Um, on the Pro Box card, everyone you wanted to look good. Najee Lopez looks fantastic. Vel Slant, Vel, Vel Saint looked good. Uh in, in, in the main event, you got like a showbox, kind of two kind of prospects that really aren't setting the world on fire with good records, give you a barn burner, and you want to see both these fighters again. So, you know, not that the Golden Boy card was bad, it wasn't a bad card, just objectively, the Pro Box TV card, which you can get for free on YouTube or for $1.99 a month if you buy the app for free. Subjectively better. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. What do you think is Scrappy? Is Scrappy? Do you think he's ready to go in and get beat up by Josh Franco next? Or is that still a couple fights away? Please leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. I know Josh Franco is funny. I okay again that guy. I'm assuming Franco is going to win that fight. Um, thoughts, comments below. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. It is February 24th, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.